Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. We are about to go fishing early this morning, and I woke up, my sinuses are killing me. I don't know what's been wrong with me, but every single day I've woke up, like the last like five days, my sinuses have just been so bad. There's something out right now that's been killing me. But anyways, we're about to go fishing today and see if we can catch some big fish. Let me tell you one thing. The weather recently has been so weird. It's, it's been so hit or miss. And to tell you it's like 10% chance, and then all of a sudden it started dumping on you. Well, right now it says it's 20% chance, so I'm hoping it's not gonna start dumping on us. But we look we look pretty good right now. The sky is pretty clear. I think we're gonna be fine. Pond hopping today. We're just gonna be hopping around to multiple ponds, you know, running from rain if that's what's gonna hit us today, and just trying to catch some of the biggest fish that we possibly can today. It's gonna be a fun little day, but we're gonna go ahead and go to our first spot, see what we can do, and um, hopefully catch a big fish. All right, so we made it out to our first pond today. We haven't been here in a very long time. I don't even know if you guys recognize this right now. It's kind of grown up, um, but we've caught a ton of fish in here. We've fished here so many times before, and there's a lot of good fish in this pond, um, but they can be hard to catch. So I'm hoping we get on a couple this morning. More importantly, I hope we catch just an absolute giant, but hopefully we can make that happen. Let's go ahead and grab a couple of our poles and see what we're gonna throw today. All right, so I actually have three rods with me today and I have a Mach 2 right here. This is the old Mach 2. We got a Mach Smash, then we have a Mach scr a mock Scrush with the Scrush Crush. A Mach 2, <laughs> a Mach 2, a Mach Crush, Oh my god. A Mach 2, a Mach Smash, and a Mach Crush with a Pro TI. <laughs> Alright, so on this one we got a spinner bait. I don't know if we're going to be throwing that through the last two days and I haven't had any freaking bites on it. And then we have a little top water. And then we have a little Texas rig over here. And then I have a secret bait in the truck, but we're not going to get that out right now. We might get that out later. But I was thinking, man. I was thinking. I was like, it's pretty early in the morning. If we're going to get a top water bite today, it's probably going to be right now. So, I kind of want to try this popper out and see if we can get a bite on it. This is on the Mock Smash. One of my favorite combos for any little tiny treble hook baits, little crank baits, um, little poppers, jerk baits. Um, so, that's a sweet little setup right there. But let's go ahead and flop on the chest cam, start casting out there, and see if we can catch a big one. If you want me to be honest with you, I was not expecting to throw a top water this morning, but I did have my top water rod, or this isn't my top water rod, first of all, but I did have a top water on. I've um, been rigged up. So it just kind of came to mind. I was like, if I'm gonna throw this rod at any time today, it's probably gonna be right now. So why not give it a shot? So we can give it, you know, five, 10 minutes. And just see if we can catch a fish on it. Cause that would be awesome to catch one on top water early this morning and have like a five pounder right away. Big massive blow up. That would be a lot of fun and I would not be complaining. So let's go ahead and cover a little bit of water. I'm gonna cast along this bank try to reach the other side. I might walk down a little bit over there by those trees. That's another thing about this place is it's kind of hard to get around and cast, but um, I'm not too worried about that today. We're gonna try the best that we can. Let's cover some water. By the way, this is not on mono. This is not on braid. This is actually on fluorocarbon. With my top waters, I like using braid. A lot of people like using mono, which has a lot more stretch. Um, I'm a big fan of braid of my top waters, but on this one, we have fluorocarbon. And I know this sounds very weird, but when I throw a popper, I love to throw fluorocarbon because <laughs> this is so weird, but I actually found out a couple months ago. So pretty much when I'm throwing a popper, fluorocarbon sinks, if you didn't know, braid floats, mono floats, okay? Fluorocarbon sinks. So it almost has the nose of the bait angled towards the water more. So instead of that soft splash, it gives more of that pop because the bait dives down on um, a fluorocarbon. And that's something I figured out the last couple of months. That's something I really never did before. And uh, there was a couple times where I just put a popper on fluorocarbon and I just noticed it working a lot differently. And honestly, it popped a lot better than it did with like braid or mono. So I don't know. I kind of enjoy throwing a popper on fluorocarbon now. It gives that more, you know, aggressive pop action. All right, so this is what I want to do. 
I'm gonna get this Texas rig right here. Just pretty basic UWG hook, um, lead weight, basic curl. I'm gonna get this off my rod and I wanna put a chatter donk on. So we're looking for the big ones today, right? I haven't fished a chatter donk in a very long time. Actually I have on the river and stuff, but as in pond fishing, it's been a pretty long time. Yo, shout out to A-Dub. He left his knife at my house like probably a month and a half ago. I decided to bring it out today and I just chopped off a piece of my skirt. And we're actually going to probably throw this Texas rig later today. We're probably gonna need it. I'm not gonna lie with how the fishing has been. So we're just gonna cut that off and I'm gonna put it somewhere where I know where it will be. How tough the fishing's been, we're probably gonna need that slow moving bait. So we're gonna tie this chatter donk on, black and blue, very basic. Tie a basic uni knot. There we go. Cut our tag in. We're good to go right there. We might need a new trailer though, and I do not think I brought any. You know what we're gonna do? Make this very basic. Basic and simple. We're gonna slice that bait in half. Not in half, but just slipped the little end piece off. Now that is a finesse little chatter bait, if I know of one. But well, it's gonna work. We just had to cut that little head off where it was already wore down. That is a way that you can preserve baits too. If you guys are like, man, my bait's done and broke, just shorten it up a little bit and you still use it. Now we're talking. We are talking now. I got sand in my reel. I don't know if you just heard that. I tried to go on the river the other day. I was out there for about, I'd say 30 minutes maybe, just started dumping on me. I mean, just all the crazy stuff has been happening recently. I can't get a break, I'm not gonna lie. It's been raining on raining on raining, and now I got sand in my reel, so. Ooh. All right, I don't think many fish are roaming the bank shallow this morning, so I'm gonna throw out here in the middle. There's a slight drop off that I've caught a good bit of fish on, um, some good ones too, so maybe there'll be some fish sitting on that drop off. Might work this chatterbait a little bit slower. We just gotta figure out how they want it today. I'm telling you, fish has been weird and I haven't seen a blow up a nothing. Right when I say that, I see something out there. I don't know if that's a fish though. Oh my God, I watched that happen. I watched that happen, that was insane. All right, it's landed over there. Watch this, come on, baby. Please eat it. Oh my God, huge one exploding on fish. Oh, okay. I have not seen any activity today until this. This is insane. I gotta get over there, they're still eating. Oh my God, is it perfect? Oh, just two foot further. Those fish were blowing up on some bait over there. Holy cow. Both sides. Maybe they're about to turn on. If I would have had that cast a foot further, I would have caught that fish. Destroying bait up on that bank. All right, so we haven't seen any activity until that. Two different crazy blow ups. Remember the first thing I said is, I guess the fish aren't roaming shallow this morning. Wait, what? I hit the water and he had it. All right, this is our chance. We gotta capitalize right here. We gotta get one. Right when my bait hit the water, one had it. Kind of messed up my tail. Right there. No, 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 no. There's no way that just happened. There's no way that just happened. 
I was about to pull my bait out of the water and one just ate me. Are you kidding me? Noah's luck. He might have followed me in. Okay. Let's try over there where we saw that first blow up. You guys hear that? I'm literally right where he just blew up. Come on. They are on that bank, but I cannot get them to eat this thing. Uh-oh. Right when I said that, it's a big and big and big and. Oh my god. Unless I got him hooked weird. Oh. Gosh, look at me, just pulling this thing. He's not even fighting. It's a bass. Okay, I must have him just hooked weird. I wonder how big is he? Oh, he's a pretty good one. It's like a three pounder. Boom, let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Yeah, that's like a three pound fish. Heck yeah, guys. First fish today on the chatter donk. Oh my God, let's go. Fish blowing up on bait on that bank. Almost a three pound bass right there. That is a good one, man. He felt so big the way I had him hooked. Back, get back in there and see if we can catch another one. That is our first fish today on the chatter donk. We've been paying attention this morning. Saw some blow ups along the bank. Got that perfect cast on the right timing and hooked us a solid three pounder. Let's go. All right, that's a good way to start the day. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Thank you so much, bud. Get you right back in. Yo, let's go. Let's go. For the first fish today? Like, are you kidding me? He's not three pounds, he's very close. He's a high two. <sighs> this is what these fish are doing. So when I was talking about that popper and then I put on this chatter bait and I was like, I guess the fish aren't roaming the bank in the morning. They're gonna be roaming a little bit more, especially on a cloudy day like today. All I started noticing is some fish pushing bait up shallow on the bank and blowing up on them. And that was the third blow up I saw I threw multiple casts on the other ones. Didn't really have anything. Had one grab it. Then I finally, <gasps> dude, 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 that was insane. They're cruising this bank too. Oh, I hear him, I hear him right there. Holy cow, right there. When the world's going on, they're firing up. They are just starting to rim the banks now. It took us about like 30, 35 minutes. Dude, what? That's two bites that I've had right in front of me, but I haven't had them because I just ended up reeling in too quick. They might be coming along this bank too. I've seen most of the activity over there, but I've had two bites right in front of me and the fish just got nervous because I'm pretty sure they saw me. Oh, I just had one bite me. Got him. No. He spit it. That was only about a pound and a half. That was the weirdest bite I've had in a long time. Okay. Why did he have to spit it? Didn't even feel like a bite. I'm gonna be honest with you. That was weird. Alright, we gotta get a new trailer. And they're freaking schooling, there's no way. Pushing bait up on the bank over there. I gotta get in there. My trailer's completely off my bait right now. Oh no, I, I was just a little short. Look at him chewing. Dude, this is crazy. I gotta get in there. All right, I think it just stopped. If I can beam this cast in the right, right spot. Yes, perfect. Oh my God, they're blowing up. Oh my God, they're on me. Got him. That's a good one. That was a four pounder. That was a four pounder. They're still chewing. They're still chewing. There's a lot of them over there. I just lost a four pounder. Oh my God, they're still chewing. Come on. You just spit it, man. Look at this. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do this quick. All right, we're gonna take another chunk off and then we're gonna actually Hook the bait just like that, hanging our meat on the back. There you go. 
Guys, there were so many bass over there. All right, so I kind of want to talk about this for a second because I don't think you guys could see it. So pretty much I was standing on this side of the bank, okay? All the way on the other side of the pond, which is on this side of the bank, what I saw was a bunch of fish pushing bait up shallow and feeding on them, okay? And what this means, you'll see this a lot in the morning, especially a lot of the ponds that you guys are gonna be fishing, if you find any shallow flats or any banks that are cut off. So what these bass are doing, say there's five bass together, and that one there was a big school of them. They're roaming down the bank, okay? When they see bait fish, they turn and they ambush. The reason that the bass are ambushing the bait in this position is because right now, if a bass turns and ambushes the bait, there's five of them, they all turn in the ambush. The bait fish right here are stuck on the bank. They can't go anywhere. There's nothing behind their back. So that's a little pinch point on where those bass are gonna go feed. See what I'm saying? So those bass are gonna pull up, the shad have nowhere to go. They have them cornered and they're gonna feed. And that's exactly what those fish are doing this morning. Those bass are roaming a little bit more. They're trying to get some food and then they're gonna calm down in the afternoon. You get on some of those drop offs, get in some of those shady banks, get in some of those lay downs. That's what those bass do, that's their natural you know, feeding stage. So pretty much what we're looking for is those bass that are coming up and feeding and you, the trick is you gotta throw in there on the exact right time. The, I mean, you gotta be in there right when you see the fish start to blow up, you gotta be in there. You can't wait 40 seconds and then throw in there and expect to catch one. When you see them blowing up, you gotta get in there the right place at the right time and you'll usually get bit. We're heading to our second spot today. I kind of regret, see what happened was I caught that fish. I started fishing over there where those bass were pushing up, eating the bait fish. And then I decided to go get a trailer and then I decided to go to the other side of the pond. I kind of regret that decision because I had that little tiny feeding window of where those bass were pushing this bait up on the bank over there. And um, I regret leaving that, but what I will say is I'm gonna go to this other place. We're gonna try something different to catch the fish. And then when we come back, I think I'm gonna go back there and I kind of want to see how those fish transition. So what I mean by that is right now they're roaming the banks eating bait fish. You know, in a couple of hours once that sun gets high, um, those fish are gonna start tucking into those, you know, shady banks, those lay downs that cover along the banks and also some of the drop offs. So it's gonna be interesting seeing those fish transition. I don't know, we're gonna go to this spot, see what we can do, see if we can catch some fish and then we'll decide from there. I'm so sorry for sounding so nasally. It's so hard to talk right now. It's like, my face is all swollen. This is literally how every morning's been about the last week. There's something out right now that's been getting me. If you live around me, and you guys know if you live around me, um, I live in Georgia by the way, let me know if you guys have had some allergy problems because it has been bugging the mess out of me recently. We started off with the chatter donk. You guys saw that I cut off this Texas rig at the beginning. So I'm actually, oh my gosh big old bug or something just hit me in the face i'm actually going to rig this back up place that i'm at i feel like our best bet will be to throw a soft plastic personally at the other place i was at i'd probably keep throwing that chatter donk but for here i think this soft plastic is going to do the trick three eighth ounce weight three aught ewg hook soft plastic crawl and this is in like a um, blue sapphire color i got some new stroker crawls coming but they're not in yet I ran completely out. <laughs> All right, I see a bunch of massive carp at the bank. Look at that. You just swam off. There's a couple more down there. All right, let's see. Oh my God, there's a dead catfish. Look at that. Look at that right there. That is not a big catfish by any means, but dang. Okay, what happened to the fountain? Oh, it's right there. What is going on with these ponds? They look so different. I just have not gone pond fishing in so long. I've hit a bunch of other places, but I have not gone to these places in particular. Oh no. All right, one thing guys, don't litter your soft plastics. That's one thing you don't wanna do is throw them in the water. Um, but I'm actually going to use this. If this crawl gets destroyed, we're gonna use this worm. Yo, what? There's another dead catfish. What is going on? And there's a million flies on it and I'm just gonna walk away. That is, man, I think it smells pretty bad. That is two dead catfish I've seen out here. I wonder why. There is another dead catfish on the bank. Okay. Okay, guys. Ugh. 
whoever's fishing here, please pick up after yourself, bro. It's a little friendly reminder. Just pick up after yourself. That's another dead catfish over here, by the way. I don't know what's going on. There's something, something wrong with the pond, I assume. And there's another dead one on the bank. Okay. Or is somebody just killing him? I, I really don't know. Look, dead catfish. That's the fourth one we've seen. And there's another dead one laying right there. That's insane. That's five dead catfish we've seen just walking around. Wow, guys, what a long morning that was. That was very tough. I went back to the spot that we fished and just not happening. I, I really regret not fishing that place out when I had to fish biting because I missed like five. Or I, I had two spit it and then I had two roll on it and then I caught one. So I had like five opportunities there and I could have stayed even longer and possibly caught a lot more. I'm kind of mad at myself for that, but I have a lot going on today. Um, I actually got a refrigerator being delivered here in a little bit. So um, I got to go handle that and handle a bunch of stuff before that and edit this video as well. And um, I'm actually going to add a bunch of clips at that last pond that we just went to. We've caught a ton of big fish out of it. And I was like, you know what? This is a good little time to add some of the clips of the big fish that we've caught. I've had a bunch of crazy catches in there as well. So let's go ahead and play these clips. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. I want to throw like one more cast on that punt. You got one? Oh my oh. God. Hey, Alan, let me grab this. Let me grab this. Let's grab this. Yeah. Oh, he's barely hooked. Get him over to me. That's your PB, Dad. Yeah! Bro, that's like an eight pounder. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! Dude. Oh, yeah! Snap it to a Slim Jim! Oh, oh God. Dude. Oh, Captain Ron's God service. Put that's me on him today. That's our goal today. God Fishing service. for giants. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm 48 years old and you just put me on the biggest <laughs> fish of my entire freaking life. My best, best fish of my life. Right here that, you guys are seeing it. Look at that fish. Gone, dude. Oh, that's awesome. The biggest fish of my entire life. Dude, that is unreal. Oh, I'm so happy now. That is unreal. I thought I hooked the bottom. I just went like this and I was like, oh man, oh, I'm going to lose my trap. All right, let's get him back in the water. Get him back in the water. I want him to survive. I wish we had a skill. I love you, baby. Thanks for your time. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, he took off. Oh. Right there. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's the biggest fish yeah. alive, That was dude. awesome. That was awesome, dude. That's yeah. it. And that's why we were coming out today. I drove today. four hours down here just to see my boy. And Captain Ron's guide service put me on him today. <laughs> Unbelievable. Took my rod like this. I saw my line going that way. So I thought, oh, that shit's going down the log. And then I pulled against it again. And then I felt just a little bit. Oh, please. I can't tell how big he is, dude. He's tugging no, hard. Don't go any further. You're in the mud. About two. What the heck? Why was he fighting so hard? It seemed like he was big. These fish fight hard out here, man. I can tell you that. Well, I thought that was a big one, guys. It's quality. It's healthy. Nothing wrong with it. Huh? <laughs> Josh. There we go. Another little bass on the red trap. Feels good here now. This morning it was a little chilly. Should be one sitting here, man. Very surprised. Yep. Dang it. Oh my god. I got him in the side or something. God, why is he fighting so hard? Yeah, I got him like hooked weird. <sighs> Guys, man, I haven't caught a giant yet. The quality. All right, guys. Daddy, straight fat. I'll take him any day. Let's get him back in the water. Keep him healthy. Oh man, he was ready. That's good, man. 